All right, guys. So we are here is a part, the second part of the discussion of 4D Jung 4S lesson one. So um, let's have first a recap of the first topic within the lesson one. So I'll show you a PowerPoint presentation about the Jung 4S. Uh, where is it? The PowerPoint. Okay. So again, as a review of the introduction about the understanding of the world religion, tradition of the world. So as, we, as what I have mentioned that my religion is Roman Catholic and I am familiar with, as what I have mentioned a while ago, the Islam, Iglesia Cristo, how much else that are uh, the SDE because I have friends who are also with that religion. So religion comes from the Latin word religio that means fear or awe in our presence of the God. So religion is also a service and adoration of God or God that is expressed in many, in the forms of our worship. So we experience this um, worship songs or any other um, activity when it comes to worshiping so that is also an our belief on the religion so as what i have mentioned by william james that religion consists of the belief our belief that there is an unseen order and that our supreme good lies in a harmonious adjusting ourselves there too and the difference between the religion and theology so religion is the study of our person's way to God, so our way to God. Well, theology is the study of God's way to humans. So their philosophy and how they reflect how human person experience with God. Also, some common religion are the Christian, the Judaism, the Islam, Hinduism, that there is a supreme being. So I'll just put my face here. And so the view of the religion, so polytheistic view, that means many gods, mono is only one god, an atheist or a without god, and agnosticism is the middle between the believer or the non-believer. Next is the theories in the, in the origin of the religion. So the animistic theory proposed by, the, by Edward Burnett Tyler that he is the author of the primitive culture that the primitive people or the, our ancestor believe in the soul that means anima in latin word that all living and non-living things in nature have the spirit or our soul which can help or harm their either an individual or a certain group or a tribe this primitive people also develop the practice of our ancestor worship and the veneration. So as you can see here in the picture, so they worship this, um, the nature such as this fire to really have a good hunting and gathering. Next is the monotheism theory that is according to William Schmidt, the author of the origin and the growth of their religion, facts and theories that he also disagreed with the animistic and the nature worship theories. However, he mentioned that there is certain tribal culture in an Oceania, so that is a small continent, that he found out that this tribal people embraces a common belief on a distant high god. It also concludes that a primitive societies are originally monotheistic, so that is only one god. That is also common in us right some of uh, us only believe in one god it should be only one god but they're on this uh, current or uh, at present there is a lot of god or many god that we are worshiping then the nature worship theory so all according to max muller that all human beings develop their religions from their observation then another one is the projections of the human needs. So Ludwig Fairback asserts that religion are just prognosis of the dreams and the wishes of the humanity. 
Then sociologist Karl Marx that religion is the opium of their society. It gives um, energy or uh, what you call this one uh, is very important in the society. Now we are next the principal elements of the world religions. So the first one is the experiences of the sacred, the second sacred stories, time and spaces, and the third the community and the moral codes. So the experiences of the sacred, so scholars Wilhelm Smith describes that religious experience as a socially approved and mediated interpretations of the physiological generated sensations. This means that our interpretation of the human experience can make us experience or encounter a religious one. So it would be a good experience or encounter with our religion if we are encountering it or experiencing it, right? So there are some religions having this encounter. So I have a college friend uh, way back on my college day. So she mentioned me about this religion of her. So she's a born again Christian. So I am not familiar with those type of religion. So uh, she really want me to be on that experiences or the encounter so uh, by the way i on my college day so it would really be i have the strong faith or religion since uh college is not that easy to experience anxiety problems and studying so i joined a group called the young flames for jesus so in that whole that group i have one machine missionary so I remember her that was Ate Stephanie. So I missed her because she is so nice and beautiful. And we are so friends at that time. But out of my business, of this work, or this job, and this pandemic, so we have no communication. So in that group, so the Young Films for Jesus helped me to become a more um, soulful or a more um, responsible student. So... So as I graduated my college degree at USEP, so it is very pressure studying at that school, that university, because of the professors, my classmates, and the environment, and so on. So I joined that group. And th there is one classmate that also invited me to be on her religion. So what happened is that um, I am confused or I am curious with that. So I may join or not. So I asked my missionary at USEP. So at this, I just texted so at this step, so my classmate would invite me about that or going into that um, church. So she advised me that do not because they have also different um, worshippers or believers. So I would stick only on my beliefs to be on the Roman Catholic. I also know some of my high school classmates who studied at University of Southern Mindanao, USM in Kabakan. So with that is um, the um, USM would really um, they have uh, that my classmate 